Hello, in this video we're going to look at a monopoly that sells its output in two markets. A monopoly sells its output at a constant marginal cost of $20 in two markets. Market 1 is characterized by the following inverse market demand, and market 2 is characterized by the following inverse market demand. What is the profit maximizing price in each market? Let's take market one. Here is the inverse market demand that the monopolist faces. We're going to calculate revenue for the monopolist, which is price times quantity. So where I have P subscript one, I'm going to replace that now with 100 minus 4 times Q subscript one. And now we're going to simplify the right-hand side by multiplying this Q subscript one through. And we have the following result. Next step is to get marginal revenue. Marginal revenue will be the derivative of the revenue function with respect to output. So the derivative of 100q will be 100, and the derivative of minus 4q squared will be minus 8q. So here again is marginal revenue, nothing, nothing more than the derivative of the revenue function with respect to q, or q subscript 1 in this case. Let's set marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. So marginal cost is going to be constant at $20 in both markets, including market 1. So setting 100 minus 8q equal to 20. And subtracting 20 from both sides and moving this minus 8q1 over to the other side. And now we'll divide through by 8. The firm will sell 10 units in market 1. And we can get the price, plugging this 10 back into the firm's inverse market demand. The firm will set a price of $60 per unit. In market 2, we have a slightly different inverse market demand. Revenue, once again, is price times quantity. We'll make our substitution into this revenue function, simplifying the revenue function. Next step is to get marginal revenue. Taking the derivative of this equation here, the derivative of 80q is just 80, and the derivative of minus q squared, bring the 2 down in front, subtract 1 from the exponent, you're just left with minus 2q. As we did before, we're going to set this marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. Marginal cost is the same in market 2 as it was in market 1. And now solving for the output in market 2, subtracting 20 from both sides, and dividing through by 2, the firm will sell 30 units in the second market. And to get the price, we'll plug this 30 into the inverse market demand. So 80, 80 minus 30 leaves us with a price of $50 per unit. Okay, that's it.